Hi guys, this is Nesbal Almeida from Visual Real Estate Developers. Today we're going to be talking about a widely used term in the Goan real estate market. You must have already heard your real estate developer, uh, agent, consultant or broker mention about this specific word and it's pertaining specifically to properties. Uh, why is this word important and why do you need to know about it is what we're going to be talking about today. Also, I mentioned multiple links in the description that will give you a better idea of uh, this respective term and how it works. So let's begin without much delay. Now, the term under discussion is Sanad, S-A-N-A-D. It basically refers to the process of converting a non-development property to a developmental property. Now, why is this important? It basically means that once you purchase this property, you already have the type of land on which you can develop on. Now all it's required to do is get the prospective permits and uh, meet all the regulations and compliances uh, in order to be able to, in order to start begin construction on the respective property, whatever the construction, uh, whatever the construction may be. Now the process itself that we're referring to here, it's a very the, the, the process of conversion I'm talking about. It's a very uh, it's a very time-consuming, cost-incurring. And honestly, a very tedious process. It's a not a, a easy process wherein you just put one form and boom, you have a development land. It involves uh, going to multiple multiple uh, government uh, government departments, uh, making sure that all your documents are in order. And the cost itself for all this process is not cheap. The good thing, however, is that if you have 1000 square meters, you can just convert like 500 of it. And the property cost is, uh, the cost of conversion is uh, is uh, uh, is uh, calculated per square meter after taking into account the total uh, size of the area, as well as uh, a, pre a fixed fee is also charged. And after that, you have a fixed per square meter fee that is as well charged. Now, highly recommended that you purchase properties that already contain such form of classification and avoid going through that process of conversion because that can be really time consuming as I said before as well. It is not an easy process and it can also take time for the actual results to come. It can take something like 3 months or it can take 4 months. Honestly, it's not, it's not easy to put an exact time on it. So also on the other side, you need to also know the fact that once a property, when a property is being sold with a sanad as it's being sold, that a converted property is being sold. The owner or this respective seller is also going to be charging for the respective amount of effort, time and money that is incurred in this process of conversion. In contrast or in comparison, a property which is non-development can be picked up for a considerably lower price than a property which bears the development status. So this is something that you need to consider. At the same time, on the other side, if you wish to purchase a property which has a non-development status, you also need to consider multiple factors such as are you flexible in executing and ensuring that you can give your 100% for this conversion process and at the same time you need to ensure that this respective property that is the one that you're considering and it is a non-development land will it be possible to convert it to development status because not all properties in Goa can be converted to the development status as such this is something that I could basically tell you in a small brief uh, it is always recommended that you hire a local consultant or a development group to help you avoid and uh, skip all such uh, unnecessary issues and they will make sure that you are guided towards them. Of course, always to make sure that these are reputed and have some form of uh, uh, name established for themselves. So this was my best attempt to make sure to give you a broad, uh, better understanding of this word sanat that is always used with multiple properties all over Goa. Uh, we look forward to showing you much more, uh, we, make, we look forward to explaining you much more terminologies of uh, Goan properties and aspects and things that you need to consider. Please do like and share our channel and feel free to share our content with uh, others out there who love such information. Uh, my name is Desval Almeida. We are, I represent Vizzo Real Estate Developers. We would love to help you out in any form of real estate related matters. We also deal with legal, uh, legal issues of uh, relating to properties. I have, we have an entire team that makes sure that your respective uh, dream of owning your dream land in Goa is satisfied. Thank you so much again and we look forward to see, having you to see our next videos also. Thank you.